The Dodge Caravan, and the long wheelbase Dodge Grand Caravan, is a series of minivans that was manufactured by Chrysler from the 1984 to 2020 model years. The Dodge version of the Chrysler minivans, the caravan was marketed as both a passenger van and a cargo van, the only version of the model line offered in the latter configuration. For 1987, a long wheelbase Dodge Grand Caravan was introduced, becoming the sole version of the model line from 2008 onward. Produced in five generations across 36 model years, Dodge Caravan is the second longest-lived Dodge nameplate, exceeded only by the Dodge Charger. Initially marketed as the Dodge counterpart of the Plymouth Voyager, the Caravan was later slotted between the Voyager and the Chrysler Town and Country, eventually serving as the lowest price Chrysler minivan, slotted below the Chrysler Pacifica. Sold primarily in the United States and Canada, the Dodge Caravan was also marketed in Europe and other international markets under the Chrysler brand, as either the Chrysler Voyager and Chrysler Caravan. In North America, a rebranded version of the model line was sold by Volkswagen from 2009 to 2014 as the Volkswagen Rattan. Ram trucks sold a cargo-only version of the model line as the Ram C-V Tradesman. After the 2020 model year, the Dodge Grand Caravan was discontinued, ending production on August 21, 2020. Two, for 2021 production, the Chrysler division revived the Grand Caravan for its namesake division, using it for a Canadian market version of the Chrysler Pacifica. An identical vehicle was marketed as the Chrysler Voyager in the United States. Dot, three. For its entire production run, the Dodge Caravan slash Grand Caravan was manufactured by Chrysler Canada, now Stellantis Canada, at its Windsor Assembly Facility, Windsor, Ontario. From 1987 until 2007, the model line was also manufactured by Chrysler at its St. Louis Assembly Facility, Fenton, Missouri. Since their introduction in late 1983, over 14.6 million Chrysler minivans have been sold worldwide, including export versions and versions sold through rebranding. Dot, four. At the end of 1977, Chrysler commenced development on what would become the Chrysler minivans, five, alongside the ability to park within a standard height garage, Designers sought to develop a vehicle with a low floor and car-like NVH levels. 5. While front-wheel drive was sought out for the design, rear-wheel drive was still considered an alternative for cost reasons. 5. Following the move of both Hal Spurlick and Lee Iacocca from Ford to Chrysler in late 1978, the Chrysler minivan design. Codenamed T-115 at the time, adopted front-wheel drive, 5. While the Dodge Caravan and Plymouth Voyager shared no chassis underpinnings with the K-Cars, the two model lines retained mechanical commonality, sharing engines and transmissions, 5. Originally slated for introduction as a 1982 model, 5. The Dodge Caravan was introduced alongside the Plymouth Voyager in November 1983 for the 1984 model year. Interior trim, controls, and instrumentation were borrowed from the Chrysler K platform, and with the lower floor made possible by the front-wheel drive platform, the Caravan featured car-like ease of entry. Three trim levels were available, Base, SE, and LE. The Caravan, along with the Plymouth Voyager, are considered to be the first mass-produced vehicles to have dedicated built-in cup holders, 10, 11. Base vans came equipped for five passengers in two rows of seating. The Ellie came with seven passengers standard in three rows of seating. The base van had two bucket seats with attached armrests and open floor space between them in the front, 
a three-person bench seat in the second row. The seven-passenger came with two bucket seats with attached armrests and open floor space between them in the front, a two-person bench seat in the second row, and a three-person bench seat in the back row. The two bench seats in the rear were independently removable, and the large three-person bench could also be installed in the second row location via a second set of attachment points on the van's floor, ordinarily hidden with snap-in plastic covers. This configuration allowed for conventional five-person seating with a sizable cargo area in the rear. The latching mechanisms for the benches were easy to operate although removing and replacing the seats typically required two adults. A front lowback 60-40 split bench, accommodating a third front passenger in the middle, was offered in the SE trim level in 1985 only, allowing for a maximum of eight passengers. This configuration was subsequently dropped. Base model curb weight 2,910 pounds. Safety features consisted of three-point seat belts for the front two passengers, with simple lap belts for the rear five. Seats on base models and cloth-trimmed SEs had no headrests, which were not mandated due to the van's light truck legal status. However, the two front seats were equipped with non-adjustable headrests on the LE model and in conjunction with vinyl upholstery on the SE, side impact reinforcements were mandated and were at all seating positions front and rear. Neither airbags nor anti-lock braking systems were available. Access to the rear rows of seating was by a large passenger side sliding door enabling easy access in confined situations, example, parking. Because only one sliding door was offered, the smaller second-row bench seat was shifted to the driver's side of the van, facilitating passenger access to the third-row seat. To facilitate variable cargo storage behind the rear seat, the seat could be adjusted forward in two increments, the first of which removed roughly six inches, 150 millimeters of legroom from the back row passengers, and the second of which would push the bench all the way to the back of the second row, making the seats unusable. The seat back of the rear bench could also be folded forward, providing a flat cargo shelf. The smaller second row bench was not adjustable, nor foldable, it could only be removed entirely. Cargo access to the rear was via a hatchback, similar to the one on the K-platform station wagons. The hatch was hinged at the top and held open by gas struts. A long wheelbase variant, marketed as the Grand Caravan, was introduced in May 1987. It allowed more cargo space behind the rear seat. A cargo version of the Caravan, called the Mini Ram Van, was also introduced for 1984, with a flat-floored cargo space four feet tall and with four feet between the wheel wells. The load capacity was 1,700 pounds, 770 kilograms, dot, 12. It was renamed the Caravan C-V for 1989 and was then discontinued after 1995. It was initially available with a short wheelbase, a long wheelbase variant was introduced alongside the Grand Caravan. Unique to the Caravan C-V was the option of a traditional hatch door in the back or the optional swing-out biparting doors, with or without windows, similar to those of more traditional cargo vans. These doors were made of fiberglass. Also based on the Mini Ram and C-V were aftermarket conversion vans sold through official Chrysler dealers and from the conversion companies themselves. Trim Levels Base, included, vinyl upholstery, five-passenger seating, warning chimes, cigar lighter, digital clock, manual locks, windows and mirrors, 15-gallon fuel tank, tinted windows, halogen headlamps, 
an AM slash FM stereo with four speakers, vinyl steering wheel, and intermittent wipers. SE added cloth upholstery, reclining front seats, rear assist strap, 20 gallon fuel tank, power lift gate release, tape stripes, and steel rims. LE added cloth and vinyl upholstery, front and rear fascia, forward storage console, warning lights for door ajar, storage drawer, washer fluid warning, and power mirrors. Transmissions Both a 3-speed torque flight automatic transmission and a 5-speed manual were available with all inline-4 engines, including the turbocharged 2.5-liter, this was a rare combination. The Plymouth Voyager, which was a rebadged version of the Caravan, was also available with a manual transmission. The Chrysler Town and Country, released in 1990, which was a more luxurious repackaged version of the Caravan, had no manual transmission option. Manual transmissions were not available on V6 models of the passenger Caravan, but were an option on the Mini Ram Van and Caravan C-V's long wheelbase models with a 3.0L V6, citation needed. The V6 engines were only offered with the venerable fully hydraulically operated torque flight, until the computer-controlled ultradrive for speed automatic became available in 1989. The ultradrive offered better fuel economy and responsiveness, particularly when paired with the inline-4 engine. However, it suffered from reliability problems, usually stemming from what is known as gear hunt or shift busyness, resulting in premature wear of the internal clutches. 13. It also required an uncommon type of automatic transmission fluid and is not clearly labeled as such, leading many owners to use the more common Dexrin 2 rather than the specified Mopar ATF Plus 3, resulting in transmission damage and eventual failure. 13. Early model transmissions would eventually be retrofitted or replaced with the updated versions by dealers under warranty. 13.